Apparently, David Hay has split with his longtime trainer, Adam Booth. He's relocating to the United States and he's going to sign with Al Heyman. Now, I'm not sure if Adam Booth will remain his manager because for those of you who don't know, Adam Booth has been David Hayes' trainer and manager for his entire professional career up until this point. And he was also David Hayes' am uh, amateur trainer. So he's been with Booth for an extremely long time. And him and Booth were also business partners when they were running Haymaker Promotions. I'm not sure if Haymaker, Pro Hay Haymaker Promotions is still actually an entity at this point. Now, it seems odd f to most people that Hay would split from Booth because they've been together for so long. It's almost hard to mention one without the other or think of one without thinking of the other. That's how close they seem to be. But I'm wondering if this is more a logistical move rather than any type of beef that Booth and Hay have got. Because I think that the reason that Hay is relocating to America is because he can't get a TV deal in the UK. Because he's flopped Sky Sports so many times by pulling out of fights. I'm not sure Box Nation will be interested so maybe he's got no choice other than to relocate to the States just to get on TV. Maybe that's what it's really all about. And maybe that's why Adam Booth can't train him. Maybe Adam Booth don't want to relocate to the States and train David Hay full time. So, you know, perhaps that's what it's all about. Will it work out for the best? I don't know. Uh, can, a, can you teach an old dog new tricks? I've been saying for a long time that Adam Booth has done a good job with David Hay. But there are certain things that Adam Booth is not. A specialist in and one thing is teaching fighters how to fight on the inside he teaches the ambush style which is moving around the ring waiting for a guy to lunge in or fall off balance and then jumping in with your own shots or pot shotting from the outside with power shots it's not the most sophisticated method of boxing and it's a method of boxing that relies very heavily on athleticism and power and foot movement and all that kind of stuff and not so much on the deep technical uh, mechanics of boxing and that's where David Hay has been lacking for most of his career in the real technical mechanics uh, a lot of people would say someone like Roy Jones for example doesn't really box or didn't really box in his prime he would just you know use that ambush style move around and exploit his athleticism he wasn't really boxing per se okay a lot of people might not follow that but those of you who <laughs> understand what I'm saying are going to follow what I'm saying so at some point when David Hay moved up to heavyweight, he started encountering people like Klitschko who were able to keep him on the outside. So those methods, the ambush style that he was using at cruiserweight, it's not working at heavyweight as well as it was working at cruiserweight. Because the guys have got, you know, the guys are of bigger dimensions, longer arms and taller and stuff like that. So he's going to have to, learn more sophisticated means and sophisticated methods to be able to get his big power shots off and Adam Booth as far as I'm concerned can't teach him how to do that so changing trainers could be a good thing to add different aspects to his game but I'm just thinking it's a, a, a little too late now too little too late that's what I'm thinking I'm not sure David Hay can make that much of a transition at this stage of his career 34 years old I'm skeptical and the Al Heyman thing, well, <laughs> it's the done thing in boxing now, isn't it? If you're over in the States, you sign with Al Heyman. <laughs> it's just the done thing. But I'm skeptical about how David Hayes' career is going to pan out from here because he's now putting himself in the hands of other people. He's not the autonomous uh, entity that he was in the UK. Okay, In the UK, he was a big fish in a small pond. Over in the States, he's not that. So it's, he's going to be in a unfamiliar territory, David Hay. And I'm not really sure how it's going to work out for him. If you feel different, if you're not as skeptical, if you're more hopeful than me, then drop your comments below and tell me why. But as far as I'm concerned, he's not in a, as powerful a position from a business standpoint as he used to be. And nor from a fighting standpoint, he's getting up there in age. He has a lot to learn if he really wants to round out his game. And I'm not sure you can do it. Yeah, let me know how you feel. This is Hatman, I'm out.